Hi, I'm Liz Larson with the art of normally frosting. Today, it's the art of fresh flowers. So it's wedding season. This video is filmed May 2015 and June coming up is wedding season. So many times we get asked to do the flower arrangement for the cake. So if you've never done one before, I'm gonna show you how to do at least one style now. So it's pretty easy. We do just like we do in a buttercream cake. I'm gonna remind you of that over and over again just to give you courage. But please try this out. It's really a lot of fun and actually pretty easy once you get started. So speaking of which, let's get started. I wanna show you a few of the things that we don't normally use in cake decorating but we're gonna need for this project. First is some green floral tape. We're gonna use a nosegay in this one. This is called a nosegay. The main thing we're working with is this area here. And normally, I think I would work with this top area only. Unfortunately, in my area, I couldn't find one. So today we're gonna to use this. We need a set of clippers, heavy duty clippers. And we need some floral wire that we're going to cut and turn into some pins. Also, you need a regular pair of scissors and you need lots and lots of flowers and greens. So I've shared with some of you guys on Facebook that I've been having a lot of technical difficulty and this is one. I wasn't able to show putting the nosegay down in the cake. My filming didn't work, there was no sound. So I'm gonna show you on this 10 inch round, though I'm not gonna use a nosegay for this 10 inch round. But what I would do is just push this right down in my undecorated cake. So this cake would have been undecorated, push it down in. Now, the only thing I would have done different is decorated at this point with my um, icing and borders and sides and then freeze it before I manipulate this. Only because the movement of it disturbed my cake. But once it's all done, it'll stand still and be very stable. So I've got some grapes here that I wanna turn into pretty sugared grapes. So I've got some simple syrup here. Simple syrup is just sugar and water boiled for about a minute. So about a tablespoon of water to about a half a cup of sugar. We'll give you what you need. I'm Just gonna take a paintbrush and paint the simple syrup onto some of the grapes. Now, you paint the grapes that you want to be sugared. Those that you don't want to be sugared, you leave them alone. You could dip the whole set of grapes in the sugar, in the simple syrup, but you might have quite a mess. I like to just give just a little bit of the sugared effect. Then you want a coarse sugar. I just happen to have some raw sugar in the house, but you want a nice coarse sugar and sprinkle it over your grapes. You can even add a little edible glitter here to add even just a little bit more shine. Now, these need to be done at the last minute. You don't want to put them back in the refrigerator because it'll just make the simple syrup absorb your raw sugar. So we're going to start making our arrangement. And this particular arrangement has grapevines in it. We're actually using grape leaves and you can see that they're quite pretty. So we start exactly like we do with any arrangement. We're gonna put our bones in first, so our two longest sections. So this is quite a bit too long, but what we wanna do is test. So I think I want it to be about that long. Make sure that you leave space to actually put the stem down in. So this is the front of my cake, and I want my longest stem to go here. I'm just gonna go ahead and push it right on in. The next step is we want to establish our height. So just like on a frosting display, this would be considered like an L shape. So we want to establish our height here. So I have some leftover. These are actually the grapes that are immature that have just started and they make a really pretty filler. So you want to save anything that you cut off including leaves because you may need them as filler later. Next, we're gonna create our width. Our roses have some nice broad leaves and so we're gonna use those to establish our width. 
Now if you get it in here and it's not how you want, just pull it right back out. Another thing you can do is if these don't have nice strong stems, you can stabilize them with your floral wire. So I want to use this grape leaf, but the stem is not so strong, so I'm just creating a loop, putting it up under there, and then just gently twisting my wire around. Now I've got a nice firm stem to stick my leaf down in. I'm going to use another of the pins that I made before to pin another grape leaf right in here. Next I'm going to start putting my flowers and I want to measure for my rows. I want this rose to hit right about there. So I want to cut right about here. Remember measure twice, cut once. Next we're back again. We're establishing height and we're going to put our longest tallest flower here. We're continuing our pattern. Notice I've got lots of triangles going on here. That's always the way we do it when we're decorating a cake with frosting flowers as well. Remember we do one, three, five, usually odd numbers. And so I'm putting in my deeper kind of contrasting colors in, in that same triangular shape. As I was working, I noticed that I needed to put my grapes in. I almost forgot. And I decided that I want to replace one of my accent flowers here with the grapes, which are also a similar color. And I've used one of my pins to attach my sugared grapes. You want to lay them very carefully down onto your cake. So you can see that I added my grapes back in and I want to come back in with that contrasting flower and place it right down in. Okay, we're at the place now where we want to just add our fillers and then add our largest flower. So we just want to come back in and add our green and our fillers here. We're going to cover a whole lot of this area just around the outside. And then we can also continue to add in after we put our big flower. But this flower is quite delicate and so we don't want to damage it. So I'm just going to put, you know, the green fillers that I have in. And remember you can add more and it's easy also to just take them out. Use your rule of three and continue your triangular shape. And just keep filling with green or whites or whatever you have that's light until you feel like you've got a nice balance. It really isn't any different than we do when we're doing icing flowers. And now it's time to paste, place our star and get that right down in the center. So I pretty much just continued to add until I got the shape I want. But just keep in mind while you're doing this that it's just the same as when we do a buttercream cake. You just keep adding the flowers and the filler until you get the right arrangement. Remember, one, three, five, and triangles. Remember to get your base in there first. Establish the parameters. It's all the same. Practice a couple times. It's actually a lot of fun. I do want to point a couple things out. While I was putting this in, I noticed that the pressure I was putting on my nose gate was actually moving my cake a little bit and I was getting a little bit of a bulge. I had to readjust the nosegay. So doing this with this kind of a nosegay that has this pedestal down in, I would have actually done this cake on a frozen base. So put the nosegay in and then refreeze your cake so that it's nice and stable. It will be in good balance so you don't have to worry about it damaging your cake after. The stem really does support but while you're pushing flowers down in you're going to be moving and manipulating the cake. So I think if I were to do this again I would work on a frozen cake. So I want to show you another quick way that you can decorate a cake with fresh flowers. Now I really ne never recommend sticking flowers down in the cake. For one, it destroys your design and you've got flowers down in your cake. But if you really have to, you want to use floral tape. Now I put some floral tape on the end of this and I'll show you how to do that. But mainly what you want to do is just gently lay the flowers on top of the cake. We want to use the same layout as we always do. Create your frame first, very gently. Now. 
You always want to have in your delivery kit for cake decorating a pair of scissors and some kind of tape. If you have floral tape, it's great. My mom and I have both been to weddings where the florist have forgotten to bring the flowers for the cake. So the cake ended up with no flowers. So you quickly have to either run around and grab flowers out of the bouquets or pick them off plants in the garden. Don't recommend that one either, but if you have to, you have to. You always want to make sure they're fresh and clean and washed, but that's a whole nother subject. So you want to lay your flowers gently on the cake like that, always using your floral tape. So clip your flowers to the length you want, and remember they're gonna be short when they're on the top here. Pull out your floral tape, you pull it tight, wrap it around, and then all the way over the end, and then pull it off. Well, just pull it off like that. That seals the end. It also keeps the moisture in your flowers and then just look, gently lay it on. Now you want to tap it just lightly into your frosting so it doesn't want to fall off. And you always want to do this in place at the wedding. Wherever the cake's going to be, do it right there. You want to place your larger items. Now, of course, these can touch your cake. They're just food. So you can see now I've just got two sets of grapes here, two flowers. Now normally that goes against our rule of three, but we've created a nice little triangular shape, so I think we can get away with it here. And we're just gonna place our largest flower right down in. Now if you need any more filler, just go ahead and put it around. Now some florists absolutely insist on shoving flowers in the cake. If you do this, be sure that you've wrapped the end with some florist tape. Now, if you don't have florist tape on hand, you can even use masking tape. Make sure it's nice and sealed on the end. And then go ahead and stick your flower very gently, but not too far in if you don't have to. And just lay your accents right next to it. This is a great way to give just a little accent to the back of your cake. So I hope you had fun learning how to do fresh flowers on a cake. Eventually, you're going to get asked to put fresh flowers on a wedding cake. Now you have a good idea how to do it. It's a great idea if you have a smaller cake to try it out one or two times so you're well prepared. So this was a lot of fun. Lots more to come. It's wedding season and grad season, so watch for those cakes. You can also find me on Etsy now at etsy.com at The Woodshop TV where you can find my work and some of Carl Jacobson's work. My jewelry, I mean. You've asked so much about it. It's there now for sale for you. Join us at Facebook. So many of you great decorators are putting your work on there for everyone to see. It's a lot of fun and there's monthly challenges that you can enter to win. Lots more to see. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon.